Biden in Mongolia to shame. At one point, Biden asked special counsel her if he saw, quote, risque pictures of my wife in a bathing suit, which you probably did. She's beautiful. When asked about his classified documents in the garage, Biden bragged he went on Leno with his Corvette and started making car noises. Quote, all you do is you take your foot off the brake and vroom, vroom. Joe Biden complained that the Secret Service was driving him crazy because they wouldn't let him drive. So Biden would drive back and forth in his own driveway. Quote, I'd get it to the bottom of the driveway, tack it up to about four grand and vroom, vroom. Yeah, the president making more car noises. Now, if you were a prosecutor conducting a deposition, you're asking about highly sensitive national security secrets, and the subject starts revving his engine and pretending to hit the clutch, you know he's not fit to stand trial. This is why the White House won't release the audio tapes. The president's going, vroom, vroom, and asking, when was I vice president again? Robert Herr had to assess the president's mental state because his mental state would determine whether or not he willfully retained classified documents. What was going on through the president's mind or what wasn't going on through the president's mind was important, and Herr defended it. My assessment in the report about the relevance of the president's memory was necessary and accurate and fair. Most importantly, what I wrote is what I believe the evidence shows and what I expect jurors would perceive and believe. I did not sanitize my explanation, nor did I disparage the president unfairly. But Democrats didn't want to hear about the president's hazy memory. Jamie Raskin used his time to question your memory. My friends, this is a memory test, but it's not a memory test for President Biden. It's a memory test for all of America. Do we remember fascism? Do we remember Nazism? Do we remember communism and totalitarianism? They have one. Yeah, we, we, we sure do. And you trying to bring some of that back. You sure are. Yep. You, Mr. Raskins. <laughs> More reason to celebrate Donald Trump and his cult followers who've completely lost their way. They're looking for high crimes and misdemeanors. Now they appoint themselves amateur memory specialists, and that's what they pounce on the president of the United States about. America faces a choice between democracy and tyranny. So for Democrats today was about fascists pouncing on Corvette lovers. <laughs> democracy and tyranny. First off, Mr. Raskins, you liar, you. We don't live in a democracy. So why don't you state that? You know, in that little uh, jingle that goes into the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. You know, it, it, it doesn't say into the democracy for which it stands. It says into the republic. We live in a constitutional republic. Say it. Stop lying. And second, Trump supporters aren't lost. Not at all. We were lost when some of us believed people like you. That's when we were lost. I happen to be one of those individuals. And looking back, I, I, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed that I let some almost said something mean. I, I, I let someone like yourself convince me of something so crazy. Looking back, I'm just like, how in the world did I ever believe such things? From those individuals? From that party? It's crazy. So no, Mr. Raskins, we aren't lost. That's the thing. It's the exact opposite. We figured it out. And that's your problem. Because more people are figuring it out, too. They tried to rewrite the whole report, but failed. Did you have any reason to believe that President Biden lied to you? I do address in my report one response the president gave uh, to a question that we had posed to him that we deemed to be not credible. Was it clear he didn't lie? I'm sorry, Congressman. 
The report is clear that he didn't lie or that he caused the staff to lie to you and that he didn't cause the staff to lie to you. Your report is clear on that. Uh, I you agree not. that... <laughs> no. Democrats even claiming her exonerated Biden when he didn't. So this lengthy, expensive, and independent investigation resulted in a complete exoneration of President Joe Biden. I need to um, go back and, and make sure that I take, take note of a word that you used, uh, exoneration. That Mr. is not a word Her, that I'm going to continue with my questions. I'm going to continue with my questions. I know that, that I the term that I ultimately reached I know that whether the term sufficient evidence existed such that the likely you outcome you, you exonerated would be a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful him. retention report, has a... Mr. Hur, it's my time. Thank you. Today's testimony proved that Biden, for 40 years, spread classified documents. She tried and failed miserably. <laughs> it was funny to watch. Goodness gracious. It's across three states in six unsecured locations after being warned repeatedly. Mr. Her, classified documents were found at the Penn Biden Center? That's correct. They were found in President Biden's garage? In Wilmington, Delaware, yes. And in his basement den? Also in the same home, yes. In the major, in his main floor office? Correct. And his third floor den? Correct. At the University of Delaware? Correct. And at the Biden Institute? Correct. Is it accurate to quote your report that classified documents were found in, quote, badly damaged boxes in his garage near a collapsed dog crate, a dog bed, a Zappos box, and an empty bucket? Is that correct? Those words do appear in the report. <laughs> Biden even told her his garage was such a mess, he moved boxes around himself. So his Corvette had more room. The president admitted, there was a kid who used to help me take care of my Corvette, but didn't work for me. So besides Hunter and his Chinese assistant zipping in and out of Biden's garage, they were kids working on Biden's cars. And primetime can conclusively report tonight that mysterious mechanics and spies did not I repeat, did not have full access to Trump's documents in Mar-a-Lago for decades. Special counsel Hur testified that Biden admitted he knew he had classified documents and that he wanted to keep them for posterity's sake, to burnish his image as a world leader. Hur also testified Biden hoarded classified documents to write a book, a lucrative deal worth $8 million. Joe Biden had 8 million reasons to break the rules took classified information and shared it with the guy who was writing the book. That's why he did. He knew the rules, but he broke them for $8 million in a book advance. It wasn't just $8 million. It was also his ego. Pride and money is why he knowingly violated the rules. The oldest motives in the book, pride and money. So pride and profit, you got motive. The misconduct's plain as day. And there was an attempt to cover it up. The same month Biden opens an investigation into Trump's handling of classified documents, he dispatches his team to gather all of the classified documents that he'd been stashing. Then Biden's team waits a year and a half to announce they'd found classified documents at the Penn Biden Center. An 18-month mop-up job at your house while you raid your opponent's house. That's not cooperating with investigators. In fact, the second they heard a special counsel had been appointed, Biden's ghostwriter deleted evidence. Ghostwriter has recordings of Biden making admissions of, of, of crimes. He then learns that you've been appointed. He then deletes the information that is the evidence, and you don't charge him. That is reflected in the report. One of the things that Mr. Zwanitzer did not delete was transcripts of the recordings that he had created that included inculpatory evidence relating to Mr. Biden. Oh, so if you, if you destroy some evidence but not other evidence, that somehow absolves you of the evidence you destroy? He, like, here's what I see. Zwaniger should have been charged, wasn't. Biden and Trump should have been treated equally. They weren't. And that is the double standard that I think a lot of Americans are concerned about. Once again, I'm happy it's happening. Because we are... In, and I, I think the... I think um, all of this happening is part of the reason why we are winning, right? Because it is proving us right. The right is right. We haven't been lying about what, what we had been saying. I, I know they try to call us conspiracy theorists and MAGA extremists and blah and this and that. You know, they, they, they always come up with some type of name or something. And they always go after Trump for 
calling people names, but they call us names all the time. But that's another story for another day. Um, but it's proving us right. When, when the regular Joe Blow sees stuff like this, who is open and honest about what is happening, they flip to Republican. Because they see, oh, Joe Biden did the exact same thing as Trump? Why is, why is one like being treated with kid gloves and Trump is like trying to get thrown under the jail? That, that just doesn't make sense to me. You don't have to be a Trump supporter to see that. You could rub two brain cells together and figure that one out. Oh, well, they both did the same thing. One is trying, they're, they're trying to throw one person under the jail and the other person is nothing, free. As a matter of fact, the guy who investigated him said that he's not mentally capable <laughs> of standing trial. And now you want me to vote for that guy for president? Not at all. The last three elections, three candidates have been accused of mishandling documents, Hillary, Biden, and Trump. And only one's been charged. The only one who was president with declassification authority. The other two risked national security for pride and profit, got caught, destroyed evidence, and then lost their memories. But is Biden playing dumb or just dumb? I would not be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt to a jury that that intent element had been Right, made. but the reason you have that doubt is the, is the senile cooperator theory, the fact that Joe Biden is so inept in responding that you can't prove the intent, which again, I don't quibble with that conclusion, but it's frustrating to be like, oh, well, this guy's not getting treated the same way as Trump because the elevator's not going to the top floor, so we can't prove intent, while at the same time, Biden goes out there at the White House and says, well, you know, he just, he, just, he just blatantly lies. And what I'm trying to figure out is whether or not Biden's lying because he's still so senile, he hasn't read your report, or whether it's a little craftier and a little more devious and perhaps a little more intentional than we might otherwise think. Yeah, so prosecutors are claiming Biden's too forgetful to be prosecuted, but Trump sharp enough to stand trial? That's not how the law works. We have a former vice president who will not suffer any consequences for all of these actions, all because we say, well, he's a well-meaning, forgetful old man. You know, if you were kind of a well-meaning, forgetful old man that was driving a car and you forgot what you were doing a little bit and you hit somebody and killed him, I believe you'd be responsible. The law must apply. Now, the real reason Heard didn't charge Biden is because he didn't think he'd get a conviction. But it's not why, it's where. Her didn't think he could get Biden convicted in D.C., and that's where the jury would be. Outside of D.C., fair jury, sure. But Biden's poor mental state let him escape justice, which is forcing the media to argue that Biden's competent enough to be president, but not competent enough to stand trial. You have this image of this poor guy sitting on a park bench, you know, feeding the bird. Well, before she before she finishes, I should have paused it before that. Um, that's also a crazy thing to to think about. And um, I'm, I'm curious if you guys have any solutions to that, because now because the country's country is so polarized. Um, it's kind of uh, where you get, you know, charged with the crime because of the jury pool. Right. Uh like Trump, for example, if Trump is charged in D.C., well, he's as good as guilty. I mean, start to finish, good as guilty. But if he gets charged in, I don't know, uh, Texas or something, Tennessee, Florida, you know, a, a deep red state, it's a different story, right? It's a different story, which I don't believe should be the case. It should be even across the board. But how do we fix that? How do we fix that? Y'all let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas as to how we fix that problem. You know, because it shouldn't be the case that, you know, uh, Robert would have trouble getting a conviction in D.C. for Joe Biden. If he could get a conviction in Tennessee or Florida or wherever or South Carolina or wherever then he should be able to get a conviction in D.C. Shouldn't matter where you are. It should matter what the charges are and the evidence. That's all that should matter. 
The charges and the evidence. Does the evidence match up with the charges? It should be that simple, right? But it's not. How do we fix it, though? Let me know. But not competent enough to stand trial. You have this image of this poor guy sitting on a park bench, you know, feeding the birds. That's that's not who Joe Biden is. He really wasn't carrying their water. I think you've shown the work on the um, the old man sitting on the bench feeding the pigeons. It comes after Joe Biden just had a very successful, effective State of the Union address. So nobody who saw him on that night is going to think of him as, as Gloria said, a kindly old man sitting on a park bench feeding the you know the pigeons. So the president sitting on a park bench feeding the pigeons is what saved Democrats from nominating Kamala. The White House releasing a statement after this hearing today saying, vroom, vroom. <laughs> White House sent out a statement. Vroom, vroom. Oh, man, they put the V8 in uh, Joe Biden's wheelchair, huh? <laughs> oh, put the V8 on that thing. <laughs> oh, man. Got the automatic start <laughs> or the push button start on it. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> You ever seen one of those motorized wheelchairs go 50 miles an hour? <laughs> well, Joe Biden's does. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> Only problem is he don't know how to use the brakes, so um, they don't let him use it too much. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, man. All right, let me, let me stop the jokes, man, but... Hey, um, Robert Hurd, it, it, you know, there was an interesting part about this entire situation that, um, I don't think many people were talking about. And that was that Robert Hurd resigned right before he was supposed to give that right before he was about, he was supposed to go to that hearing. So he testified as a regular citizen. That was the interesting part, right? Very, very interesting stuff right there. And, um, yeah, Democrats, they were losing their minds, man. Losing their minds over his report there. Jamie Raskins. Um, I need to find that clip of Jamie Raskins trying to... Um, goodness gracious, let me see if I can find that really quick. Because that clip is hilarious with Jamie Raskins trying to wrap his mind around why Robert Hur um, added in some of the things that he had. Is, it, is this the clip? He returned only a portion of subpoena documents and deliberately withheld the rest. Uh, I think this is a clip. Search of his home. On the contrary, Trump suggested that his attorney. No, he's just trying to blame Trump, of course, in that clip. Maybe it wasn't Jamie Raskins. It was some Democrat that was, oh, well, you didn't have to say that uh, you know, Joe Biden wasn't fit to stand trial. You didn't have to add that into your report. <laughs> it was just funny to watch, man. Funny. I, I thought it was Jamie Raskins, though. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe it was Jerry. I don't think it was Jerry, though. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. Jerry Nadler isn't isn't coming to mind it was some democrat if you know who i'm talking about if you watch that entire hearing which i didn't um i'm yeah I'm, i just saw some highlights okay <laughs> i'm gonna be honest all right um but if you watched it in its entirety let us all know which democrat that was because one of the democrats like got up there and like started crying not literally crying but you know complaining about robert her uh, including some of the stuff that he included uh, against Joe Biden in his report. And it was just funny to watch. So, well, you didn't have to add that in there. You could have just said this. <laughs> I 
That was just, I wish I could have found the clip. But anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.